obviously living in a van, I know that I'm, you know, parking in public places pretty often. I had a cop knock one time and ask what the heck I was doing, and I literally had to explain I'm watching a television show and recording myself laughing into a microphone. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening to something. Yeah. Hi, I'm Eric, and I am from Pretty Much It, which is me and my friends releasing commentary tracks for movies and TV shows that basically enhance the experience. You know how to dance. He just starts doing the stanky <laughs> leg. <laughs> he dabs. <laughs> it's sort of like watching along with friends, cracking jokes the whole time. I love Andrew Garfield's little dance. <laughs> That's so cool. I am recording from my van, which is in disarray at the moment. I would give you a tour, but you don't want to see it right now. I live in a van for fun. I just got the bug one day and I, I, I like to move around a lot. I like to see my friends all around the country and I don't like to pay rent. <laughs> I guess that's another part of it too. This is a lifestyle that works for me. I just love being on the road and traveling. Oh, why is it moving so fast? Oh no. <laughs> the idea for pretty much it came uh, back in 2010. I had a different channel that was just a solo channel and I wanted to bring my friends in, but I didn't want to do it on that channel. So I started a new one. Welcome to pretty much it. And we had a weekly podcast kind of thing. We, we did movie reviews and game reviews and it was really fun. And then eventually it became these commentary tracks. This Classic Schroederberg. Schroeder, Schroederberg. <laughs> and you can download it and sync it up with the movie or the show, and it's like you're watching along with us. Oh. That is legit horrific to look at. Prior to living in a van, uh, recording was just done at either my apartment or my friends' places or, you know, wherever we would meet up. And then once I moved into the van, it was done less at my place, technically, uh, and I would just be driving around the country to my different friends' places and recording with them. Really nothing was being done in the van. It was uh, getting around that the van helped. Usually I record a whole bunch of tracks to release over the next few months in a week or so when I'm visiting people, just so I don't have to worry about it every single week as far as recording goes. And I was just getting up to the point where there were no commentary tracks left to release and it was like, all right, time to start traveling around the country and recording with friends again. And then COVID-19 happened. Hi, I'm Eric and I am alone. <laughs> it hit hard. Uh, suddenly I'm being told to stay put, not just in my van, but the van has to stay put. Like I can't travel around anywhere. I can't go to friends and I'm running out of commentary tracks. I, I didn't know what to do. Obviously it crossed my mind very early on that I could just record commentary tracks alone. My concern was more so that not that I couldn't do it, but that people wouldn't maybe want it. Like people sit with their friends and joke about movies and shows, but do they do it alone? I was a little nervous about that uh, just because I didn't know how it would turn out and I really didn't want our quality of our content to dip. This is a very special quarantine, pandemic, what have you, uh, edition of Pretty Much It. Uh, the I response am... was immediately very positive. Looking back, I mean, obviously now it's been a year, hindsight's 2021, <laughs> and I underestimated how supportive and loyal, I guess, the audience is after all this time, and it felt really, really good in a really bad time. It definitely helped lift my spirits a lot. Some of our highest selling commentary tracks of 2020 were my solo tracks, and that is something I didn't expect. No, no, no. Oh, I know how this goes. No! It's easy enough to look back a year later and see how I shouldn't have been worried about it at all because what I've learned since then is A, to trust in my ability, and B, uh, most importantly, the fact that the audience is not just paying for content, they're along for the ride with me. I think that's important for creators to know if you let them into your life, they can be right there with you. They can be going on this journey with you. I think that that's an incredible thing that I don't think we'd be experiencing if we weren't creating content in the current day and age. Yes. Yes, I'm so sorry. sorry. Have a great night. You too.